Hi, Paul. My name is Tim, and uh, I recently became a subscriber of yours and uh, have been watching some of your YouTube videos on how to repair a, repair these TVs here. And I have a 55-inch Vizio, model number E550i-B2. And um, when I first got it, it was dead. And what I did was uh, I found, taking this power supply off, that this connector over here between the power supply and what I believe is the LED driver board, all of the pins on this little connector were bad, it's loose. And so I have since resoldered them. And uh, now I, it's not dead anymore, but when I uh, turn it on, I uh, get the uh, standby power light. Then I get the Vizio logo and the backlight is all purplish color and then after about 10 seconds it turns off so that's where I'm at and what I've done with some of your videos <clears throat> is uh, took all the boards off even the Tcon board which I believe is back in here off and visually inspected them I don't see any bad capacitors or what looks bad I know they don't necessarily need to look bad to be bad but I've since used my multimeter and down here on this connector CN101 um, pins one and two have the standby voltage. I get that five volts at all times when the cord is plugged in, the power AC is in. Then when I turn the TV on, there's a pin number four here that on the board it just says PS on. And so I get three volts there. And then on this same connector, um, pins seven, eight, 11, and 12, it's marked on the board here to get 12 volts, and I get that. And then there's another connector right above it. That's number CN201. And uh, it shows on there to be pins one and two to have 20 volts, and I get that also the 20 volts when I turn the power on. And when the TV goes off on its own, then all these voltages except the standby voltage return back to um, zero, and they I watched your video, it talked about the capacitors holding some voltage and holding some energy and voltage drops slowly off. And I watched one of your videos here and it shows, I can see it dropping off the 12 volt um, reading. And uh, when I run my test and I get that 12 volt reading and the thing turns itself off, that voltage drops down to zero pretty quickly, like within one or two seconds. I mean, it's gone pretty quickly, one to two, three seconds. And I don't know if that's a normal for this TV or if it's a clue that some capacitors are bad somewhere. I would um, welcome your thoughts on that. And then be, beyond that, excuse me, beyond that, I don't know what else to troubleshoot um, to try to identify what board to either, you know, fix on or replace altogether. So I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on this specific TV. It has, a, the model again is E550i-B2. The power supply board is DPS-167DP. The main board or the main tuner board over here on this far right hand side is a Y14-E550i-M80-MB. And the LED driver board, he's got the Y14 E550i-2DDR number. And uh, that's as far as I've gotten. I would like to go further. If you have any thoughts for me, uh, Paul, I appreciate it. Again, my name is Tim, and uh, I'm a new subscriber of your video channel, your YouTube channel, and I appreciate all your videos. They're very thorough and very informative. And uh, if you have any thoughts on what I can do next here, to uh, not just start swapping out boards if that's possible to try to troubleshoot it any further. If you have any questions for me, I can uh, respond to you through the YouTube comments on this YouTube video, if, you, if that's the way it works best for you. Thank you, Paul. Okay, talk to you later, bye-bye. Okay, we're gonna try this again for you, Paul, with the light off, the light in the room off so you can see it. When I push the button on, 
the standby power comes on after two or three seconds, then the TV kind of lights up, everything lights up, and then the Vizio logo goes off and then the whole TV powers off. And if I turn, do it on the back, it's the same. I can see some lights that come on on the side of the unit, um, you know, on the back showing some light coming through here and then it turns itself off. So that's kind of a, one of the tests that you had in one of your videos to see if the backlight was working. So maybe the next thing is the LED. Mm, LEDs aren't working quite right or something. I don't understand the technology. I'm a new, uh, a newbie here. So appreciate any information you have. Thank you. Another thing, Paul, I forgot to mention is that when the, um, when I touch the power on button, I get the feedback voltage of three volts and this 12 volt and this 20 volt. I get that like right away. And then the backlight comes on on the TV about three seconds later. And then the backlight goes off after about five seconds. That's eight seconds in total. And then it's another two seconds until these voltages start to drop off back to zero. So the whole thing is like a some sort of a test, I think, that's taking about 10 seconds to... Uh, uh, make a decision whether it's going to power up or power itself back down. I don't know if that's any helpful information, but it was power on. I get the feedback voltage right away, three volts, etc. Then the backlight comes on at about two and a half, three seconds ish later. Then that goes off after five seconds. And then the power over here starts to drop off after 10 seconds. So just more, some more information that I have gotten here. Thank you.